Hey guys, welcome back. It's Kristen. Today I'm going to be recapping all of my May reads. May was a great reading month for me and I am stoked to show you guys what I read and what I thought of the books this past month. So let's get to it. So I'm just going to start with the first one I read and go down the list. Like I said before, May was a really good reading month for me and my daughter challenged me to read 11 books and I read nine, but three of the books that I read were quite big. So I'm pretty proud of myself regardless. So we'll see if I can make it to that 11 that she wants me to get to for some reason. But um, these are the books that I read in May and what I thought about them. So the first book that I read this month was The Antidote. And this one is by Shelley Sakir, I think is how you say it. Um, I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. This was one I was really excited about and thought it was going to end up being like a 5 out of 5 stars, but it just wasn't. It took a while for it to get going for me. I did give it 4 stars because by the end it had gotten exciting and, um, and I did get really into it by the end and was wanting to read more, but until the end it was kind of a slow start. This one is about um, a kingdom that is hit by a pandemic and um, most of the people die. They evacuate all of the children but the king and queen die and most of the people die. Um, it's centered around really the would-be king who's um, a young boy when this all hits and and a girl who is the um, works with the healer in the in their country and when they evacuate all of the kids the of course the prince stays behind and they keep her behind but it's a secret and this kingdom and the world says that uh, magic is is evil and the girl has some evil some evil some magic um that she hides but she and she doesn't use a whole lot um, but the whole story is the would-be king is sick and she wants to save him and she has to end up tapping into that magic and we find out a lot of her backstory that she didn't know and a lot about um, her own magic and how this pandemic came to be. So um, this was an interesting read seeing as it was about being quarantined for 10 years. So... It was good. I Like I said, I gave this one four out of four stars. Four out of five stars. The second one I read was Mortal Engines. I have not seen this movie. I know that it's out there, but I didn't know anything about it prior to reading this series. I have heard the name Mortal Engines multiple times, just had never really looked into it. This is another one that I gave four out of four stars because it was a slow start for me. Um, this one has a really... I guess strange cool concept to it all the bigger cities um have become mobile like mechanical and they move around and they're eating the smaller cities and this one um starts off in London and London is going around eating the smaller cities the girl um in the book has a vendetta against one of the leaders in um, in London and she tries to kill him and in the process uh, this boy Tom tries to stop her and they both end up she ends up jumping off and he ends up getting pushed off of London and they're in the wastelands and he finds out more things about um, the man she's after who was kind of like a hero to him and um, so it's, a, it's all about how those leaders in London are trying to um, take over and do things and interesting read just wasn't super awesome for me. The next one I read was Alex and Eliza and I gave this one five out of five stars. I am a huge history person and Alexander Hamilton and um, Elizabeth Schuler. I had not really heard their story. I know that sounds horrible. I don't know anything about Hamilton. I probably should. I know that the play's coming out on Disney Plus, so I will be watching it. But honestly, didn't know a whole lot about their story, and I just really loved this one. I loved the um, 
like the modern, it wasn't like a modern retelling, I guess, but it just used more modern language, I guess, to tell the story. And I really, 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 really liked it. And um, I actually ordered the next one in the series and it is on my TBR coming up soon. So yeah, five out of five stars. If you like history, if you like romance, I thought this one was a really good one. The next one I read was The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I gave this one four out of five stars as well. It was a really good book and I thought it was a very interesting take on monsters, um, on vampires and such and how they are brought about. There are three types of monsters in this book, Corsai, Maokai, and Sunai, and um, I won't go too much into like what those are, but basically this is a city that is divided and one half is controlled by a man of wealth and power and pretty much you can buy safety from the, the Maokai and the Corsai and then the other half is run by um, a man who pretty much just tries to control the, um, the monsters and, and, and what happens with them, um, but he doesn't have like control or safety for the people on that side. And there's not many Corsai, there's actually only three Corsai that they know, Sunai, there are only three Sunai that they know of, and, um, and, and that kind of comes out as the book goes along. And this boy who is a Sunai, he ends up going to being put in a school to follow the daughter of the man on the up who controls the other side of the city. And it's pretty much just a really cool take on on monsters and um, and their fight for like survival and um, fight against like an uprising that comes about. Um, the monsters in this book are created through like heinous acts and that's how they come about. So when a person commits a heinous crime or something, it creates one of these monsters, which like I said, is really, really just an interesting take. And this one, I also really want to read the second one in this series and I'm waiting to hopefully get it from the library soon. The next book I read, actually I think I read this one before a couple of those, was um, The Legendary Shiver and I don't have a physical copy of that book but I already did a whole review on that book which I loved. It is a debut mo novel and I will link um, my video review down below for you guys so if you haven't checked it out you can check that one out. That one I did give five out of five stars. The next I'm gonna do as a series because I read the whole series because I could could not put them down and that is the illuminate series so yes these are the big ones I was talking about so I'm pretty proud of getting through all of these but um, I'm going to be honest and say that when I first got these and because I ordered them at the library and I didn't really like look them and look in the middle of them or anything like that beforehand and to see how big they are or like what it looked like and then when I opened it up and saw that it really is laid out like case files I honestly was like there is no way that I can read these books I'm not gonna be able to get into it and so I started to read and then I just got hooked and couldn't put them down I gave all of them five 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 stars I ordered um, like I said, I got these from the library, but I ordered my husband one and sent it to him. I, I, I ordered him the first one and sent it to him and am pressuring him to read them. I really think he'll be into it too. Um, this is kind of as a sci-fi type of book. It is laid out like a set of case files, um, all about an event or events that happened, um, on these planets. This one starts off on a planet where, um, which is pretty much an illegal, um, they have an illegal mining operation and this corporation comes in, tries to take over it. Um, it's a lot of murder and a lot of like genocide and it's just really just awful things that happen. And um, the characters in the book 
are fighting against that, fighting for justice, fighting for their lives, trying to save everyone that they can save. And that's pretty much the whole thing. And the last book is um, starts off with the trial of these people who are um, on trial who from the corporation that um, attacked or whatever and killed all these people. And by the end you see justice or what, I mean, what is justice, I guess. But um, it just goes through all of the events that happened um, simultaneously, actually. So you have the first book and everything that's going on on the planet and the people who escaped. And then the second book is other people and what was going on during the first book for the most part. It's just really good. It was really well written. It was really cool the way it was written. And I feel bad for ever thinking that I wouldn't be able to get into them. I completely recommend them. I absolutely loved the series. So those are, I gave five out of five for all of them. <laughs> and the last one that I read this month is Bone Cryer's Moon. And this was in the Owl Crate box for April. And I gave this one five out of five stars. The, literally this one had me from the first chapter like it's so so interesting um it is told from the perspective of three different characters and I think I've said this before sometimes I just really can't handle that but I really did enjoy this one and this is about um bone criers who are the farriers of the dead and on on new moons, they ferry the dead across to um, either Allah, who is like, I guess, the equivalent of heaven, or um, Tyrus, who is the equivalent of hell. And um, it starts off with uh, a bone crier and a bone crier to, to complete their rite of passage, I guess before they are allowed to ferry the dead, they have to kill um, three animals and carve their bones and wear them and they get like the abilities of that animal. So um, like a peregrine falcon, the eyesight and the swiftness, that kind of thing. And then the last thing they have to do is they go to a bridge, they play a um, song on a bone flute and the gods or whatever send um, their amore, their one true love to them. And they have to kill their one true love or the one true person they're supposed to be with. They can either kill them right away or they can spend a year with them, but they have to die in the end. And that's how you finish your rite of passage. So like, it was so good. And um, the main characters are fighting against each other for the majority of it. These two on the front and just, it's a love story. It's, it's action packed. It's magical. It was just a really great book. The next book doesn't come out until February 2021 and I'm so sad because I'm gonna tell you this one ends like at the cliffhanger of all cliffhangers. Like, I wanted to scream when this book ended because I immediately wanted to read the next one and find out what happens because it really does leave off at a humongous cliffhanger. And I, I, I don't even know what to say. But I highly recommend this one as well. Pick it up. It's great. And of course I have the Owl Crate edition and the cover of this book is flippin' gorgeous super gorgeous so those are the books that i read so that's one two three four five six seven eight yeah nine and i didn't get to the 11 um but who knows maybe in june i will get to 11 of them i don't know why she chose that number but i don't know it is what it is so Great reading month for me, hoping to continue on this upward slope because April was not a great reading month. May was awesome. Let me know what you think about any of these that you have read down below and I'll catch you next time. <music>